2022 Hyundai Palisade starting at $34,595. Hyundai's Palisade SUV aims for a class above experience and nearly nails it, especially on upper trims, where its cabin could be confused for one of the Genesis brand's luxury vehicles. It's not a Genesis, despite the look and feel, and it instead shares its platform with the also-excellent Kia Telluride. A smooth-running 3.8-liter V6 is standard and is mated to an 8-speed automatic. Front-wheel drive is the base setup, but all-wheel drive is also available. A generous amount of equipment is standard, including a ton of high-tech driver assists and modern infotainment connectivity features. The cabin is as roomy as it is comfortable and offers seating for up to eight passengers within the standard three-row layout. Overall, the Palisade is a well-rounded SUV with a premium vibe, which is why we gave it an Editor's Choice Award. What's new for 2022? Hyundai has made several active safety equipment standard across the Palisade lineup for 2022, including rear cross-traffic collision avoidance and blind spot collision avoidance, which intervene if the associated alerts of potential obstacles are ignored by the driver. All models also now come with side mirrors that feature integrated turn signals. On the top-spec calligraphy model, the dark brown leather upholstery is no longer offered. Our palisade of choice would be the mid-range cell with the premium package. All-wheel drive costs $1,700, but consumers in more temperate climates could forego this choice. With the premium package, our cell palisade slides in just under $43,000. It still offers much of the SUV's best tech and luxury features, including the larger 10.3-inch infotainment system, in-dash navigation, and Hyundai's semi-autonomous driving mode. If you're considering going with an all-wheel drive version of the Limited, which comes nicely equipped with Nappa leather seating surfaces, heated and ventilated first and second rows, a 12-speaker Harman Kardon audio system, just to name a few items, we suggest taking a look instead at the top-level calligraphy, which costs only $925 more and comes standard with all-wheel drive. engine, transmission, and performance. The Palisade is powered by a 3.8-liter V6. Coupled to an 8-speed automatic transmission, the engine's 291 horsepower is adequate for this application. The Palisade's transmission can be manually shifted with steering wheel-mounted paddles. The gearbox shifts smoothly on its own, but there's some busy shuffling of the ratios when climbing hills. Front-wheel drive is standard, while all-wheel drive is optional on SE, SEL, and limited trim levels. It's standard on the range-topping calligraphy. All Palisades come standard with a robust transmission cooler and trailer pre-wiring and sway control. It can tow up to 5,000 pounds when equipped with the dealer-installed trailer hitch. We tested an all-wheel drive cell, and it delivered adequate, if unexceptional, test results at our test track. In our testing, the Palisade went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds, and the Palisade needed 182 feet to stop from 70 miles per hour. It proved to be slightly quicker than the Telluride, but slower than the Chevrolet Traverse. Fuel Economy and Real World MPG According to the EPA, the front-wheel drive Palisade achieves a rating of 19 miles per gallon city and 26 miles per gallon highway. 
When equipped with all-wheel drive, the Palisade gets 19 city and 24 miles per gallon highway. In our 200-mile highway test route, our all-wheel drive cell model managed just 23 of its claimed 24 mile per gallon rating. Interior, comfort, and cargo. There's room for up to 8 passengers in the SE and cell trims, 7 in the Limited and Calligraphy, and there's plenty of space in all three rows for their occupants. The second row features a one-touch button to move the seat forward for easy access to the third row. Noise from the road is suppressed, however, a large amount of wind noise penetrates the doors. With the second and third row seats folded, power operation is optional on the cell and standard on limited. Cargo volume behind the front seats is 86 cubic feet, which fit 33 carry-on suitcases in our testing. With the second row in the upright position and the third row folded, stowage totals 46 cubic feet. With the third row in use, the volume shrinks to a modest 18 cubes. Underneath the load floor, there is plenty of room to store muddy or wet items. The cubbies in the doors are tight, but there is reasonable storage within and below the floating bridge center console. Is the Hyundai Palisade a good SUV? Yes, the Hyundai Palisade is a good SUV. It comes with a V6 engine that provides ample power and solid acceleration. The Palisade also rides smoothly, even over rough pavement, and it's pretty easy to drive despite its size. Its cabin is one of the nicest in the class, with upper trims rivaling some luxury SUVs. Adults can ride comfortably in all three rows, and there's plenty of cargo space. Because of its solid overall combination of quality and value, we named the Palisade a finalist for our 2022 Best 3 Row SUV for the Money Award. Should I buy the Hyundai Palisade? The Palisade is one of the top choices in the midsize SUV class, and it should appeal to a wide range of buyers. Its price tag is similar to many of its classmates, which also helps to make it a strong value in the segment. As the brand's flagship SUV, the plush and premium 2022 Hyundai Palisade offers three rows of class, comfort, and convenience for up to eight passengers. The boldly designed, mid-size SUV impresses in several key areas too, namely performance, safety, and technology. The Palisade's many strong points, its penchant for upscale luxury, and a wide array of standard and available features truly make it the complete package for buyers who demand a confident, safe, and thoroughly enjoyable driving experience.